Jared from the Dirty Heads. I sing in the band, and I am uh, in a traveling circus. Check out how I'm holding. You want to get that? My name is Dustin, and I'm also in the Dirty Heads, and I play guitar. Uh, well, we wrote "Lay Me Down" with Rome um, in Duddy's backyard over a 12-pack of Corona. We didn't think anything was going to happen with it. I mean, we knew we were thinking maybe we'll put it on the next album. Um, you know, it was a killer song. We liked it. Um, Kevin from K Rock heard it. Uh, took a chance with us, put it out, and it blew up. And then so we wanted people to get it immediately, and we had some B-sides and some other songs that we'd been working on since that album had been released, Any Port in a Storm. Um, so we just tacked everything onto it and then kept it at the same price, or even cheaper, I think, and then uh, just re-released it so that people could get the single that they were freaking out about and hear some uh, uh, new stuff. Well, we had been friends with Rome for a while, working in the studio and just hanging out, and. Um, We've always had similar styles of music and taste and stuff, and a lot of the songs he was writing would come in and you know give him our advice, and then he'd come and give a, you know uh, his advice on our songs or do a harmony here or something there. So we were like, why don't we just write a song, man? We're hanging out anyway. Like we go drink beers and do whatever, yeah. you know. Um, so we just sat in Daddy's backyard and and, uh, and wrote the song, and we wrote it in like a day or two, and then recorded it in, in even less. And so we were like, that was fun. That was easy. You know, we'll probably do some more. Um, and uh, it just eventually fell into the hands of K-Rock, and then uh, and then it blew up. And there was just we're really stoked on all of our fans and all of our new fans and uh, everybody that's supporting us and and requesting. Like we couldn't be more happy, you know. Yeah. This is what we've been working for and trying for, and it just comes in really weird ways. You know, you know, you don't think that it's going to happen this way, but it does. And you're just like, yeah, nice. Now we're playing with Sublime at a sold-out show at the Fox Theater in a tour bus. K-Rock is our big alternative station, radio station down in Southern California. Here it is, um, uh, we get played, what, what do, Live 105 out here, so it's, it's the same thing, sorry. Um, and uh, it's just, you know, alternative station, kind of plays the Southern California vibe of, of the music and everything that's kind of cool right now and alternative music. And, and uh, yeah, we're from Huntington Beach and you're from Edison. Yeah. And when I was a sophomore in high school, we beat Edison's surf team so bad that they got mad, and then we actually got in a fist fight with them, and then we beat them up. Ninja style in our wetsuits. That's what you get, Edison. What do you got? Hey, everybody! Hi. Look who it is! Hi. We were just talking about you. How sick your Chris Brown outfit is. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do it the right way. No, 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 you don't touch it. Hi, I'm Rome. <laughs> I sing and play guitar for Sublime. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, hey, buddy. I think the music is the product of, of a lifestyle. I mean, I don't think music is regional. I don't think, I mean, just because we're from California and that's how we grew up and this is the vibe of our music that I don't think somebody across the world can understand it and get that and relate to it. But I definitely think growing up there had a lot to do with how we sound and the music that we listen to. But uh, we're on Rome's stomping ground today. I mean, he's he's a transplanted so cowboy, but like right now we're up we're up in his town, huh? I'm I'm from the Bay Area, so it's good to be back in Oak Town, baby. Yeah, yeah. I was at a bar and I was talking to this woman, and it turned out to be Duddy's mom. And it, was, it was so bad, dude. I was sleeping with her for like a month. We met because uh, our um, an engineer that I worked with, Louis. He's the uh, same engineer who worked works with the Dirty Heads, and um, he introduced me to the band and you know I was a fan of the music and then you know one day they wanted to uh, get together and write a song mm -hmm. and yeah it's uh, it's music that you know comes on and makes you feel good and happy you know and I think a lot of the music on the radio these days is the opposite of that it's kind of more like the depressing you know emotional music and then sublime song comes on you're like oh this is that feels good just say that you hate it's all different. the emo bands that are on the radio right just now say, <sighs> just say it you don't, just you don't say have to you pussyfoot around it buddy what? Why did you go there? 